So this is with one panel on. This is with the other panel on. And then we'll switch it to the two panels and just look at the spread. Now this video is specifically about this Cobb LED light. Uh, Cobb is just chip on board, LED, well there's lots of LEDs on the same board basically. Very, very bright, very, very energy efficient uh, and as I said we'll go through it in detail. Before I do that, I just want to take you through the journey that got me to this. Um, love LED lights and the first one that I got was something similar to this which is basically it's got a, a magnet on the bottom it's got a torch on it and it's got a, an led panel there so if you're working in the car or in a room where there's um where there's any metal you can actually just just stick it on the front of the boiler or if you're under the bonnet just stick it up on the bonnet if you're working on it and it's dark and as i said you've got a torch which isn't very bright and it's very located and then you've got the panel which gives you a spread of light so it's useful but again it's not very bright uh, and those are the two functions then earlier on this year i was out in thailand for a few weeks and i was walking around bangkok and long long before everything started appearing on tiktok i saw this and i was immediately taken with it uh, and again cob so lots of leds chip on a board You've got the front there, you've got a magnet on the back, you've got a, a key ring attachment so that just slips over the key ring and it will open a bottle. Bright, uh, a few light level settings on it and it's even got a, a red LED on there as well if you get stuck at the side of the road and you want to warn oncoming traffic. So really, really good. The, gr the great thing about this compared to everything else that I've got, you've got a spread of light, very, very bright and a good spread. And that's what brought me to this one. So instead of just having the one panel on there, you have got two panels and you could just have it sat up like that. Or you may want to actually open them up because they will move by 90 degrees. So if you wanted to illuminate a room, you could have it like that. You could hang it up in a tent. You could hang it up under the car. Again, this has got a magnet on its base, so you can just attach it to something and it gives a fantastic spread of light, again, which I'll show you. But if I just take you through the illumination first. Right, I'll open it up. Now you're not going to get the full benefit because the camera will adjust for the brightness but you will get an idea of what i'm talking about there are six settings on it, if i'm not mistaken so the first setting is one side the second setting is the other side the third setting are both lights on at the same time and if you press it again you get a stroboscopic effect and then it turns off now, if you double click it, so again, this is if you're at the side of the road, you've broken down, you could just literally pop this onto the floor, double press the on button and the red lights come on. And if you press it again, you get red stroboscopic. Now, I know that that doesn't show on the camera very well, but trust me, it's nice and bright and that will warn anybody that's coming. Right, let's just have a look at it in more depth, see it closer up and go through the specifications because the energy consumption on this is amazing. Right, so let's see it in that greater depth. So if we're looking at the front of it there, obviously you've got the one LED panel and there's your other LED panel. For your key chain function, that just presses down and all this is made out of metal, so nice and sturdy. And there's your bottle opener. On the side, if we flip that back, you will see a USB-C connector there. So you can get a nice fast charge on the battery. It's three hours to full charge. So if I just turn it over and we have a look at the bottom, I think they're called Neo Medium, uh, but they're the rare earth magnets that are on the bottom. So nice and strong and they'll attach to anything that's metal. And in the center, you've got the screw attachment for a tripod, which again is really, really useful. If you need extra light on something, I'll probably be using this for filming in the future. Right, so I'm going to switch it on there and we should see three LED lights in the case in there. What those three LED lights show is the length of charge that's still in it. It also helps with seeing the charging process as well. So I'll cover the lights up and we should see them. 
you should see them there. So there's three on, which basically means it's got a full charge. I'll just talk you through those now. Let me just turn this off. So when you're actually charging it, the three green lights, they're flashing to show that it's charging. And when they're static, that means that it's fully charged. When there's three green lights on, it'll be something like 100 to 75% charge. Two green lights will be 75 to around about 40% charge. And one will be 40 down to 15% charge. And when those lights switch off, well, when one of them comes on continuously, you've only got 15% charge left. But obviously the piece de resistance of this is if you get it, pop your nail under there and click it, that comes open. And the same with the other side, get it, pop your nail under, click it. And you have your two cob LED panels there all ready to use. They give such a good spread when they're on. Much better than this, but also you can angle them to the side as well if you want. Or just have them, have it sat up like that. Turn it to the angle that you want. So that's the close-up look at it. Let's just see it on the tripod with this so that you know what I mean. So you've got your mounting bracket. Which you obviously just screw it onto. So there's the mounting bracket and fortunately I have a tripod. Let's pop that into there. And then we can point that down and just turn it on. And you've got a nice bright light there for us say if you're doing any filming or anything like that. Or if you're in a workspace or if you're underneath the bonnet, anything like that. Really, really useful. Something that I hope you can see on camera. If you keep your finger on the button, you can actually adjust the intensity of the light. So it'll cycle. So when you get to the intensity that you want, you just take your finger off the button. And I think it'll flash as well when you get to the lowest and the highest. So if I keep my finger on the button, there you go, you can see it cycling and it flashes at the lowest and at the highest. So you choose what you want and then you just leave go and that's what you set up. And now what we need to do is wait until it goes a bit darker and you'll actually see it in use. Right, now where these really come into their own is in a relatively confined space. So in other words, not necessarily outside, but in a room. I'm going to switch it on. It's dusk outside. There is a window. The camera will probably adjust for the light. So again, I don't think you'll see the full benefit of it. But so this is with one panel on. This is with the other panel on. And then we'll switch it to the two panels. And just look at the spread. That is absolutely phenomenal. Now, just to show, imagine if you were in a, a tent. So we'll move over. And I'll just hold it up like that. So the whole of this space is illuminated. It, 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 unless, unless you've actually seen how good these panels are, it, it's really, really hard to explain. I can only say that they are fantastic. So that's with both panels on. And again, I'll go through the intensity of the light because you don't want it on full all the time. So let's go through it. So unfortunately, the, the camera is compensating. But if you have it on low, you can still do everything that you need to do and see everything. But the battery will just last so much longer. So really bright. And as you can see, that's blinding me anyway. So e excellent power. And we're in the garage now, so I'm going to turn it on with one panel. There we go. That's the other panel, and then we'll do both. And you can see the spread of light is just absolutely fantastic. So there we've got it hanging up on the ceiling. Now it's illuminating the work surface and everything up in the cupboard, so it's doing exactly what it should be doing. And the last thing that we'll do is we'll pop the red lights on, the warning lights. Double click, red lights come on, click once more and you get the flashing. So again, put these about 50 to 100 feet behind any broken down car just to warn any oncoming traffic. Right now in this room, I'm just going to show you it with one panel lit. And again, it's that spread of light. It's just unbelievable. So we've got it sat down there on the sink. It's illuminating the whole of the room. Quickly go in and look at it. And it's sat there. Okay, so that's it. 
In summary, what do I think of this? Well, it's certainly much better than that, so let's put that to one side. It's comparable to this one, uh, but this one's slightly limited on, um, on the brightness and on the spread of the light. Other than that, these are excellent, but as I say, this just takes the biscuit. USB-C, which makes it extremely easy to charge, very bright, adaptable in the fact that you can pull these panels out. Really good that you've got the tripod attachment on the bottom and obviously the near-medium magnets um, to be able to attach it to, to metal. You can obviously use the carabiner at the top. If you want to carry it around with you all the time, then just pop it onto your key ring so that it's always available. And probably the best thing for me, you've always got it to crack open a cold one. So, excellent. Definitely a recommendation. Um, just so, so useful. Always have it charged and ready to use. We've already taken this one on holiday with us a few times this year. When you're out and about in foreign climes, especially in the Far East, the street lighting may not be up to much. Well, something like this, wonderful. And if you're doing any filming, perfect. Big recommendation. Just one last thing before I go. Uh, if you look underneath the video, you'll find that there's a discount code that brings it down from 20 99 I think I paid for it, down to about £15. So really well worth buying it. I'll put the link on, which is an Amazon link, and then it's up to you what you do. Right, let's go through the specification of it. Right, the size of it is 46 mil by 23 mil by 71 mil, roughly. Uh, the battery is a polymer battery, which is excellent. And to give you an idea of that, so I spoke about the charging time earlier. It's a three hour charge time. But if you just have one panel on, you've got about six and a half hours of light coming from that. If you have both panels on, then you've got about three and a half hours of light. That is excellent. The capacity of the battery is 800 milliamp here with an output voltage of five amp. It's got both overcharge protection and over discharge protection. We've talked through what the LED lights indicate and the color temperature of both the panels is 6,500K. Now the shell of it is both plastic and aluminium. It isn't fully waterproof, but you'll be able to live with it. And by that, I mean, you'll be able to take it out in the rain, use it under the car, etc., etc. And it has got an anti-drop height of one meter. And obviously the charging port is, as I've shown it, a type C.